today I'm going to be making um, blueberry turnovers. Um, I've got uh, my ingredients here. I've got sugar. I've got some blueberries that I've already washed. Um, some puff pastry that I have gotten at the store. I am not making my own puff pastry today for this recipe. Um, I need the juice and the uh, rind from a lemon, some cornstarch, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg. I've got my uh, blueberries here in a bowl along with the sugar, the cornstarch, the lemon juice, the lemon zest, um, some cinnamon and some nutmeg. I'm just gonna toss those together. I actually um, put less cinnamon and less nutmeg in to start. Um, this is a recipe that's originally for apple turnovers out of uh, um, the book, How to Bake Everything. Um, but it has a variation in there for he has actually a couple different variations for different types of turnovers and one of them is just blueberry or any type of berry um and really there aren't any adjustments to make other than using blueberries instead of apples um, but i kind of thought uh, a teaspoon of cinnamon was too much for with blueberry um and it was supposed to be a quarter teaspoon nutmeg as well kind of thought that was too much so i only put in a half a teaspoon cinnamon and just like a sprinkling of nutmeg so i'm going to see how that tastes um, before I actually uh, prepare the turnovers. These are the um, sheets of puff pastry that I bought from the store, it's Pepperidge Farm, um, and they've been thawing for about 40 minutes. And basically it says um, when you're able to unfold them that they're thawed and they're unfolding pretty well. There's a little tear here. Um, and then in the recipe, um, basically the idea is that you put them on a work surface um, and he says to coat the work surface with um, sugar. I don't know if that's necessary for this. Maybe if you were making your own puff pastry um, and then also I don't think I need to roll this out any um, thinner than it already is. It's pretty, pretty thin. Um, so I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on here and cut these into like four inch squares and then put the filling on them and uh, fold them up into turnovers. Had to go grab a ruler so I've got it there so I'm just gonna basically um, mark uh, those four inches so you can see I'm gonna get looks like about um, four of these out of a sheet. I think will be fine. Um, I'm gonna end up with eight of them because I've got two sheets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those and and then put the turnovers together. I am ready to actually assemble the turnovers, so um, I'm going to just get a spoonful. He says a heaping tablespoon, but I'm just gonna get. A spoonful of mixture. Um, you know, it's one of these things where you don't want to overfill them because you got to fold this over. So I'm just going to kind of see how that would be. Um, it feels like that's probably enough. Maybe just a few more berries in there. Um, and then, of course, the one thing I didn't mention earlier is that you're supposed to use egg, a little egg wash along the edges here to help seal when you uh, fold it up. But of course, um, I'm an egg-free baker, so um, I have some milk in a dish uh, that I'm just gonna try and hope that that creates enough stickiness. Um, obviously, if egg's not a problem for you, you, you basically make an egg wash with um, an egg <laughs> that's beaten and then like a tablespoon of water. And then you just brush that mixture on the edge there, those kinda two sides and then fold this up and over and kind of pinch it to seal and hopefully like I said my little milk wash is enough and then you can see there it's a little popping open a little on me um, and then actually I'm gonna get a fork and do a little decoration here, I guess, um, with the tines of a fork, and um, 
and then do a little more milk on top of this thing and sprinkle that with some sugar and then oh almost put the sugar in the milk and then um actually take a, a paring knife and I think just cut like a little slash in that dough. There we go. Just to um, allow the steam to escape. And then those are going to go on the tray. You can see I've got all my other ones that haven't been made yet. Those are going to go on the tray and then they actually go back in the fridge for a little while before you bake them. Here are the turnovers all ready to go. They're all assembled. Um, and like I said before, I'm going to um, chill them in the refrigerator probably for about an hour. Um, I think it needs to be at least a half hour, but it's um, a little bit warm of a day, so I know the dough has gotten pretty soft. Um, so I'm going to chill them for probably about an hour um, before baking them. All right, so after they'd been in the fridge for about an hour, I um, put them in the oven at 400 degrees. Um, this is about um, like 17, 18 minutes. And they look pretty good. Obviously, as turnovers often do, they some of them leaked a little bit. You can see some blueberry poking out there, um, but they have a nice um, golden color to the pastry, which is what we want. So we gotta wait for them to cool off a little bit and then we're gonna give them a try. Well, as you can see, we um, are trying them right now. So what do you guys think? Jillian, what do you think? Um, I think that's really sweet. I don't think it's sour at all. And I like the sugar on top. Yeah, that was it's good. Mm -hmm. well, um, I, like, I like the blueberries. Yeah, mm -hmm. they turned out good. Um, now, so again, I did not make my own puff pastry. This is just Pepperidge Farm that you buy um, in the freezer section at the grocery store. Um, but the blueberries were fresh, and so the filling was was fresh made. Um, and again, there was a there was a egg wash that was supposed to go on there, but I just used milk, and that worked fine for sealing them, um, as you can see, and um, pour on the top to brown it up with a little bit of sugar. So again, these are uh, blueberry turnovers. Um, it's a variation of apple turnovers from Mark Bittman's How to Bake Everything. Thanks for watching.